Hey friends, welcome back. Today I've got our weekly grocery haul for you. And a little helper, huh? I don't know if you hold that we're going to Great Wolf Lodge again. We are going to Great Wolf Lodge again, huh? Next month. Yeah. Are we very excited? Yeah. Yes. So today, as I mentioned, I've got our grocery haul for you. And I spent between Walmart and Aldi um, just under $73. If you are new around here, I hope that you enjoy this video. And if you do, consider hitting the subscribe button to be part of the family. We would love to have you. Anyway, on the meal plan for this week, we are doing a double batch of cauliflower soup, which I'll leave a recipe link for down below. We are also going to do tacos for a few nights or taco salads. I'm just gonna make up a big batch of taco meat. We are doing breakfast burritos as well. That was my husband's idea. And omelets one night not necessarily back to back with the breakfast burritos but just kind of thrown in there i think that's it grilled cheese and soup which we have everything on hand for that so i'm gonna go ahead and flip this around and show you what i got uh i don't know if you remember elliot the little boy who we used to babysit yes he's turning to we used to babysit elliot if you've been around for a while some of our older vlogs you will know who elliot is and he is turning two and we are going to his birthday party but i need to show him them these groceries so we can get them put away okay Okay. All right, so starting with the stuff I got from Walmart, Jackson really likes these chocolate chip waffles for breakfast in the morning, so we needed more of those. And if you know Alice, she has mini pancakes almost every single day. So I like to get these ones from Walmart. It's a really good price. Got two heads of cauliflower because they looked better at Walmart than they did at Aldi. The Aldi ones are super small today and they were basically the same price. So I got two of those to make a double batch of the cauliflower soup. These were on clearance. Uh, I like to keep gum in the car for road trips for the kids. These were like 40 cents a piece. Got a box of this electrolyte vitamin enhance like water enhancer i have not tried this but stevie over at stevie's life uh, mentioned it in one of her recent grocery hauls and i was like oh that looks good so i'm gonna try that one yellow onion for the cauliflower soup potatoes with onions and peppers for the breakfast burritos got some easy mac for alice she is super picky on macaroni and cheese anything other than an elbow noodle the girl will not touch so i like to have these on hand for quick uh, like lunch options on the weekend for her one thing of bone broth i have one on hand already ready so this will be an addition to that for the cauliflower soup grape tomatoes two cucumbers one seven ounce can of green chilies for the cauliflower soup and then they had these planters nuts on clearance the cashews i got one bag of cashews it was the last bag left these were a little bit more expensive then i got four bags of the raw mixed nuts so i got those for a really good price so i snagged what they had and that is our walmart portion over at Aldi, I got some romaine hearts for salads, some bagged spinach for the omelets and also for salads, sharp cheddar cheese for the cauliflower soup, two containers of strawberries. These look amazing and they were a really good price. I may go back and get more midweek if the kids eat them. Two half gallons of vanilla unsweetened almond milk, one container of the Greek nonfat yogurt, vanilla flavored. Alice has really been into just like plain vanilla yogurt recently, so I picked up that. One container of heavy whipping cream for my coffee and also for the cauliflower soup. Hard salami for Will's lunches. One thing of cream cheese. I would want to make some keto pancakes again in case we have um, just like an easy night. I might just do pancakes for, for dinner one night and I make a version of them for myself, a low carb version that involves cream cheese and eggs. Two little bags of bacon bits for the loaded cauliflower soup. One bag of lemons for water and whatnot. Uh, you can't really see it, but there's four avocados in here. These are on sale. Decent price at Aldi this week. One can of sliced carrots, one can of sweet corn, one pound of pork sausage for the breakfast burritos, and three packages of the whole wheat flour tortillas for tacos and breakfast burritos and like cheese quesadillas for the kids or whatnot. So that is our 73-ish dollar grocery haul for the week. All right, and we have a bonus uh, Costco haul for you. This was actually shopped multiple days after what you previously just saw in the video, but I did want to add it since I haven't edited the video yet. So I just went to Costco. I spent $81.76. I go there basically once a month or if I need something that I know I can get cheaper there because I live really close and it's not a hassle for me to just run in. So back here, I got a 24 pack of the LaCroix or La Croix or however you would like to pronounce it. I am not fancy. I like these when I'm on keto because it gives me a little bit of a sweet without being sweet and then the carbonation. We got six romaine hearts, three pounds of their organic broccoli florets. We like to roast these. Also got a two pound bag of their Brussels sprouts. Same thing. I really like to roast those. A box of their Kirkland brand protein bars. 
I got these last month and they're they're really good. They're not gone yet, but since I was there, I got another box. And these are three to four net carbs, 21 grams of protein, 15 grams of fiber, which is amazing. And they don't taste all too bad. The kids were out of their gummy vitamins and these were on sale. I was out of minced garlic. This was basically the same price that I would pay for like one of the little jars at a regular grocery store. Got one and a quarter pound of bacon crumbles because I've been making a lot of soups and salads and I figured this would be easier than buying the little bags at Aldi, which you saw in this previous bit of video. I already made the soup, so those are gone, but this is to keep on hand. We have 40 pounds of chicken breast coming from Zaycon Fresh. We got it during their 99 cent a pound deal. That comes this next weekend, but I really wanted more thighs and drumsticks on hand. We don't have any right now, and we do go through a lot of meat, especially with me being on keto. So I got their package of chicken thighs. These are 99 cents a pound, and then their package of chicken drumsticks, which were 79 cents a pound. So we will be set on chicken for quite a while, I think. So this is the end of our haul for the week. And bonus little hint, do you know what that is back there? That's my next Nadine West unbagging, so stay tuned for that soon too. What you doing? Trying to make my own cereal. Trying to make your own cereal, but the milk is new and you need help, huh? Yeah. So I'm gonna close this up so I can help you get a snack before um, we go get brother. What? What do you do? Yeah, do you wanna close it? You wanna tell him thank you for watching and close it out? That's all we need to do. Yeah, just tell them thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. Hit that star button mark down there. We love you. Don't bye bye. We will see you next time. Don't forget it every sport day tomorrow. <laughs> She's so excited. All right, tell them bye bye. Bye.